All right, guys. We're going to talk about consistency. Oh, man. Maki's about to talk about consistency. And before I do that, quick disclaimer. Mods, make sure that you're moderating the chat of any goofiness so I don't have to pay attention to the chat and I can focus solely on delivering this message. Get them out of here and to the new people, encourage them to hit the follow on the bell button. And if you want to donate, it's completely optional. That's up to you. You can do the roses. You can do that. Whatever you feel like you want to do. I ain't requiring nothing. I'm giving y'all some game. Ready? All right, man. So we're going to talk about consistency, right? So with consistency, a lot of people don't have it um, and they have intensity, which comes from motivation. So let's talk about consistency versus intensity. So for example, man, um, we're going to talk about consistency. So when I'm, when I'm giving this example, the way that I'm going to talk about it is if I'm doing my cardio, right, and I can run five miles without stopping versus someone who can sprint a whole mile and then they have to walk a lap. Who do you think is going to be benefited more? Do you think it's the person that's sprinting? No, because the person that's sprinting is now winded and gassed out, whereas I can run five miles. So our distance is variating. Okay, that's a perfect example because I got to tell you guys this. There's a difference between intensity and consistency. If you can only do something one time or one or a couple of times versus someone who can do that same thing, maybe at a smaller quantity every day or every other day they're going to get exponentially better results than you because they're being consistent. You see, a lot of you guys, you don't trust the process. You say that you trust the process, but you're completely instantaneously outcome-based, which means whatever you do, you want to see fast food results. What do I mean when I say fast food results? When you get fast food, you get it pretty quickly. The food might not always be quality, but one thing can be set in stone is that it's going to be coming out fast. Unless it's a busy night, in any case, your food's going to come out low quality, but it's fast food. Uh, versus you going up in the kitchen and cooking these meals without an air fryer, but I'm just saying homemade. Now that homemade meal is going to be more quality because it's made with more care, it takes more time, and it's prepared if you have the right person cooking it. Now if you go and get fast food, you pay for fast food, so can you really be mad that it's the quality of fast food? You're not, gonna, you're not ever going to go to McDonald's and it tastes better than Hell's Kitchen? No, because there's one with intensity, which means they're deep frying their food, they're immediately getting it out to you, versus consistency, where they're being consistent with their recipe. You're not getting consistent recipe from the fast food restaurants that you're going to. You're getting a variation of the recipe depending on how fast they want to get out to you. So what I'm trying to say is there's many examples time and time again that go to show you that intensity is not the way solely by itself. Consistency is important. Now, if you can have intensity with your consistency, but you don't want to have it up here, you want to have it mid, that way you don't collapse. Because what can happen a lot of times is when you're being super, super intense, you can get a lot done. I, I know you guys have probably went and watched a YouTube motivational video with like John Cena, The Rock. Um, I can think of so many other guys. I can't remember their names off the top of my head. But just saying these motivational speeches, right? And you're like, yeah, I'm going to go do that. And you go do a bunch of productive stuff. But what do you do the next day or two days after that? You're not doing anything. You're not doing anything productive anymore. All that drive has been relinquished because that was motivation. You were using motivation to aid your intensity versus being consistent. You see, motivation will make you realize things about yourself, and then you have to have a plan of action. If you don't have a plan of action, you're constantly going to be pulled in so many different directions with intensity. So it's not really ever going to last. I've come to find that I used to try to make everything happen overnight to the point where I would sacrifice my sleep. I wouldn't get a lot of sleep. I would stay up all night trying to make it happen. But then Nipsey Hussle said one of the realest things, man. Rest peace, Nipsey Hussle. It's a marathon, not a sprint. So you guys need to be consistent. You need to have minimal, minimal five goals a day re revolving around the things that you want to get done. And another way that will help you make... So put it this way. You don't want to have the same goals every day, right? Because every day is a different calling. You're going to have different things that you want to do. Well, that day, one of your goals can be reflect and journal. And at the end of the night, you can write in your journal some of the things that you might want to integrate into your goals the following day. So that way, when you wake up the next day, you have that journal to look at and you can pick up where you left off. Because a lot of things go in and out of our minds, guys. So consistency will beat intensity all the time. One thing about rock, paper, scissors, paper will beat rock every time. Yes, rock might have a lot of force, but the paper is not, the paper is not going to go like this. No, it's going to close in and it's going to capture that rock. That rock is coming in with intensity and that paper's meeting them where they're at because they've prepared. All the rock has is force. But if the paper goes at the rock, it has consistency. It has a lot more strength going into it. See what I'm saying? But not in a fight. This loses every time. If you slap someone versus a punch, I promise you that punch will hurt worse. But you guys get what I'm saying. <laughs> and I say all that to say this. I'm being consistent. I'm consistently serving this game and laying it down on the hungry, 
and laying it down on the ground for the hungry hounds. There's been many times where I've fallen off a consistent path, but I realize what led to that? Was it someone, was it something, or was it me? And a lot of times it's you. And it, I know it's hard for a lot of you guys to admit you're the problem, you wanna blame the world, but a lot of the times it's you. And you have to take those little pieces that are on the ground and construct it into a better model for yourself. Because at the end of the day, you can lie to the internet, you can lie to your loved one, you can lie to your damn pet if you want. Hey cat, I'm a virgin. <laughs> yeah, I just lied. You can lie to whoever you want to, but at the end of the day, you cannot lie to yourself, okay? So that's the game that I wanted to give, guys. Be consistent, not solely intense. And if you want to be consistent, add intensity to your consistency. And shout out to Symmetric6878 for the fire. I really appreciate it. First donation of the night. Let's go, man. But with that being said, guys, I'm going to come back to the very next episode. This will be episode five. So to the ones that aren't busy, I want to see you guys back up in here. And I hope that you guys live as long as you want and never want as long as you live. I appreciate you for tuning in to the Maki Show. And until next time. See you later, gang. If I could press the damn button. <laughs>